Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a reading for you guys and definitely we have a story here. Mm -hmm. And so we start with patience and planning Sagittarius, right? And this is the seven of pentacles. This is what they call it in this reading. Yes, uh, in this deck, patience and planning. And that's what somebody's doing here because of memories of love. The six of cups, this man he's he's uh he has these candles that he has kind of set in these cups in the water so he's doing like he's meditating he's doing some type of a like a ritual right regarding memories of love that's what somebody's doing here and they are patiently planning to come forward yeah you could be saying so patiently that you know many moons have passed right power and light help where the hell are they right <laughs> for some of you guys and we have the wounded healer. This person is a wounded healer. And here they are, maybe the medicine woman and the medicine man. That could be a, that could be one person. That could be two people. It could be, it could be a divine couple here. I feel like there is. All right. But let's look at the wounded healer. Let's see here. He's, he got wounded himself and he's trying to heal. Maybe he's trying to heal you, uh, Sagittarius, or heal, heal, heal himself. I feel like he is. Yeah, we'll see in just a second here, or we're going to get the, and this is healing energy, vitality, and life force energy are flowing through you and to you. You're a healer, and you provide healing for others, even if you're not conscious of it. Whatever needs healing in your life is being resolved. Your so-called faults are becoming your virtues. Can you, right? Isn't that kind of cool? Your so-called fa faults are becoming your virtues. Yeah. Yeah. These people in power are trying to make something virtuous, uh, evil. And, you know, they are saying evil is virtue. I remember I heard that guy say that at a, at a, at a freedom walk. I'm like, hell yeah, right? Freaking hypocrites. And it just, everything is a switch so they can confuse people, right? But let's continue, uh, Capricorn, Sagittarius. I felt like that your person, whoever they were in their life or whatever they were doing, they've done a... They've changed, right? Maybe this is you. The reading could be switched, but they've completely changed. And now whatever virtues that maybe they were a player and now they're becoming uh, devoted. It could be that kind of some type of profound change here, right? And they're coming to heal the situation with you. No matter what happened in the past, the past does not need to equal the future. It's true. The cracks can be where the light enters the soul. Of course, right? Yeah, it's kind of like when you hit rock bottom. I'm not saying this is complete, this is rock bottom necessarily, but maybe once you hit rock bottom, that's when you wake up and you go, "Well, this is pretty bad here." So here's the light shining on me. Like, uh, wake up and make some changes, right? Yeah, and uh, use your force, use your use your energy, take take control, right? The medicine man and the medicine woman, right? Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. These are also healers. Yes, it is like, like, uh, curanderos, right? The curanderos means like curing in Spanish, right? So you could have, uh, women from you, know, my sister-in-law from Venezuela. She used to say she was, a, uh, you know, my husband at the time, he told me she's cura, she's a curandera. I said, Oh, at the time I wasn't, you know, really kind of, kind of understanding a long time ago, just starting to come into it. Right. And in every tradition, they're the individuals who are able to step between worlds to gain information, wisdom, and healing energies from their spirit allies. When this card chooses you, you're at the advent or the beginning, right? Advent means the beginning uh, of healing, emotional, physical, and mental wounds. Additionally, a powerful healing force is activating within you. Okay. So we have healing twice here. So this person's coming either, I feel like they are wounded and they want, they're healing themselves, but they want to heal the situation with you. And here they are, memories of love, Sagittarius, right? It's not just a memory. As I said, he has these candles. He's going through it over here. Uh, I feel like this person is kind of praying. That's what I feel like. Simplicity and success. And the simplicity card, Sagittarius, is we see the feather, Right? And so here's a feather, you know, just up in the air, up in the sky. And this person here wants things to be more simple and they want to go with the flow of life in order to have the success with you. 
And uh, here's the panther showing the success. And uh, he's in whatever country he's uh, native to, right? It's really beautiful here. It, it looks like South America. It looks like some type of lush. Yeah, it does by the cockatiel, I believe, that is over to the side. Or maybe that's a parrot. It's a cockatiel, I believe. But let's see what they have to say about the simplicity card. We know what the success is. Yes, we do. Uh, that, that is if we can uh, find that little booklet. Yeah, if it's not handy, uh, we're not going to like kind of be concerned with it too much. But that's usually what that card talks about, uh, that feather kind of blowing here, that somebody, your person here, it want, they want to go with the flow of life. They do. Now, I don't believe they were going with the flow in the past. And I feel like this person uh, has awakened, like awakened so much right? That now they're like, well, I wasn't going, it looks like they weren't going through, uh, going with the flow in the past. Let's see what it says about the, the, uh, this feather and the simplicity card. Yeah. This is a white feather. Okay. Remember. Okay. And this has to do with uh, native, uh, Cherokee divination or the Cherokee culture for sure. Imagine a single white feather illuminated against a blue sky. See, this talks about illumination. It does. Uh, wafting on warm air current, wafe, wafting, wafting, wait, probably wafting, wafting on warm air currents as it floats to the earth with simplicity and grace. Both Native Americans and Egyptians, oh, Egyptians were, yeah, they were so cool, right? They were. Thought feathers were messages from the sky gods. Chiefs would wear feathers to symbolize their commu communing or speaking, right, uh, with a creator. It was believed that when one wore feathers on one's head. Messages from a human could travel to spirit. Likewise, messages and energy from the spiritual realms could travel back down to the human through the hollow shaft of a feather. Feathers were also wafted through the air to cleanse and purify a space. To find a sacred simplicity and have clarity in your life, do only what matters. Release everything else. That's what this person's doing. They're releasing some type of pain in their life in order to have the success with you, Sagittarius. They're not with you yet. They're still planning. They have the pillars of planning here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not the pillars of truth, which, you know, uh, this country is supposed to be founded on. Uh, it's, but my point about it, Sagittarius, that this here uh, is about the truth and clarity they have received right? And uh, I was, I, I didn't judge that card, right? The feather. That's why I opened the little book, right? But <clears throat> this is about like a clear illumination here. Release everything else. Like go along with the sacred simplicity of life, right? Life's not that hard. It's, I mean, if you try to do something and you feel like even on the internet, right, you're just trying to do something and it's not working out for you. You're not supposed to have that basically, right? Yeah. You, I mean, we all have to learn sometimes the hard way, right? If you know that something seems to be so difficult when you're trying to make it happen, it's not meant at this time or it's not meant for you, period. Right? So this is, I mean, I found this to be true buying concert tickets. I'm like, well, I don't think I'm supposed to go to that damn concert. And then I bought the ticket anyway. And, uh, you know, then they tell me I couldn't go because I didn't want to follow their, you know, draconian, uh, their draconian, uh, dictatorship basically. I guess none of your business uh, about, about that, right? We have the success card, and we pulled three more cards, Sagittarius, uh, here. And we have the moon, changes in your life. And the moon, Sagittarius, talks about cycles, endings, and new beginnings. That's exactly what all these moons are, the new moon, the full moon. They all talk about a shift every month right? Just like the change in your life for a woman, uh, is every 28 and a half days. That's the same as the moon. So we are very controlled or I would say influenced, not controlled, but influenced by the cosmos and by the planets, right? We are, they, these people don't know, want us to know that. I mean, for some of you astrology buffs that are listening, you already know this totally, right? Okay. The caterpillar, caterpillar, right? Mm-hmm. 
And so things will not always be this way. A change is coming. And then we have the firecracker excitement. This person's coming to you, Sagittarius. Yeah, and I feel like they're in this energy where they're just kind of thinking about you in this beautiful way. And there's going to be a change here. I believe there will be success. Yes, I do. This is so cool, Sagittarius. I can't. And in the extended, we're going to do a spread with this deck here. Yes, we are. And this is uh, like the Sleeping Beauty deck. Yes, it is. That's what I call it. If you guys don't mind, right? I have my, my own names for everything, right? Yeah, like I don't call a smoothie a smoothie. I call it a fruity, right? <laughs> Let's see what we have here. That's the rebel in me, right? I just call it the way I call it. Yeah, even my, my daughter said the same thing. She goes, you make up your own words. Yes, I do. Let's see what we have. Uh, for Sagittarius, the Ace of Wands starts the reading inspiration. We're using the angel deck here. Three of Cups, King of Wands. That's you. We have the Nine of Cups. Oh my God, this is beautiful already. Inspiration, the, page, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Cups celebration, the leadership card. And this is what you're expecting, uh, Sagittarius. This could be you, the King of Wands, like something. I feel like you want this person to... to take control of their life and be a leader, like kind of like the emperor, right? Take control of their life to come forward. This person had to deal with some sad ending with the wounded healer and the medicine woman. I'm pretty sure here. Maybe it's when you left them. But for me, it looks like they went through some type of major awakening where they know they had to release. Remember the simplicity card talks about release. They had to release somebody from their life, and I believe that they suffered on some level. Yeah, let's see what else we have. And the Justice card, Angel of Integrity. All right, so this is, you know, uh, this is the angel in the courtroom. Yeah, they right now they have devils. Yeah, they do. But uh, right now, Sagittarius, this Angel of in Integrity next to the Inspiration card, Justice, maybe they're Libra, right? But uh, this... This person's coming inspired to reunite with you. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And this angel of integrity showing up in the past, like they changed. Like they got their integrity. Like, I don't feel like, I feel like in the past, this person did something to you or maybe they had major guilt, but I feel like there's something that was done here. This person has grown with this awakening, with this wounded healer, uh, the simplicity card. These cards talk about healing, but they talk about like an awakening. Yeah. And it is, it is this awakening that brings healing. And I believe them to your doorstep or them to your, into your arms, something like that. Right. And we have the angel of dreams. This is the moon card. This is uh, coming soon blessings the nine of cups <laughs> right it's, a, it's a, almost like i'm speaking too fast for all these beautiful cards angel of dreams you, this is going to happen for you your dream's going to come true here with somebody and how you are affected by other people the ten of wands somebody laid their burden on you Maybe your person is being, this person is being affected by a burden. And I said that I believe this person has suffered here, right? So you're being affected by some burden. I feel like they are overcoming this burden. You could have been maybe a third party and, you know, you could be, you could be waiting for, for this person for a long time for some of you guys. There's some type of major journey going on here. And then we have the Ace of Wands. A passion and new opportunity that is inspiring to start the reading. So once this person comes forward and these changes are made, changes in your life and the caterpillar, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. I feel like this person wants to come to you and tell you that they made a huge change in their life. And that you're going to be together with them. And this card is telling you to, in case you are not waiting and, you know, it could be telling you that this person's coming to bring you a new beginning and a huge change. 
and for you to be like, for some, depending on, you know, how you are seeing this, depending on kind of what role you play in this reading or where are you at, where exactly where you're at in this kind of saga here or storyline, right? And so let's get another card. And this is how you could be affecting them. The four of cups, indifference. For me, they're being indifferent to another situation. This person's just looking forward. They're releasing somebody or something with the simplicity card. So with this looking forward and not looking back, in my opinion, you are causing them to be indifferent about another situation. Like I can't, I can't care so much about this because there's so much energy and leadership here or taking control of your life, being a leader, right? For this person that they don't have time to focus on the past except you, but they're coming to make you part of their future. I mean, big time. And your hopes and fears, Sagittarius, is going to be the independence card, right? And so this is the queen of swords. You could be hoping here that they're going to be independent and that maybe independent judgment, not listening to other people or let other situations hold them back. This person could be leaving another union. They could be. Because the release here, the healing, and there's some sacrifice here in order to have this healing with you and on their own. So not only will you heal the situation, but somebody else is healing their, I don't know, their player views, their player, uh, or their stupidity, no digs on anybody. What I mean stupidity, I mean lack of self-awareness about themselves could be. That is, it is, right? Yeah, I mean, if you have, uh, if you are not aware of what you have done in your life or where you're going or exactly why you are at the place in your life, if you don't have any self-awareness, your life will be the shits forever. But this person here is, they've healed themselves. But as I said, there's a major awakening about about their past or about their judgment or their or their choices maybe but this person has changed entirely they're they're coming from a place of major self-awareness awakening good judgment and integrity and that's why this is here showing up like in the past this angel of integrity let's and let's look at your outcome though let's see what we have we have the ten of swords endings all right so we know this is whoever's ending, right? I mean, hopefully you're not on the, the flip side of this reading, Sagittarius, right? Which is, you're the person they're ending it with. But I don't believe that's true. It could be because these are general for the collective, right? But whoever has the ending is the person here, the Ten of Swords, the person here who is coming forward. They're leaving something behind they no longer believe in. And this is why you are causing them to be indifferent right? Yeah, it is. Let's get a card on the integrity card, the star angel of hope. You know, this here, you are hoping this person would like change, I believe, and grow and gain their integrity. You might have told them, go away, come back when you're a good man or a good woman. But right now you're, you're just, you're, it looks like a low vibration right? You could have said, come back, correct, or don't come back at all, because this integrity has something to do with coming correct. In the past, you could have had hope for this, the star, right? So the plumber's here, right? <laughs> but anyway, getting back to the reading, uh, getting back to this reading, uh, Sagittarius here, this person had hope or you had hope that they would change, right? Things will not always be the same. The caterpillar, this person is transforming into a butterfly and here's the blessings coming into play. 
this dream is going to come true with the moon. I mean, God. <laughs> and the Ten of Wands, you they put a burden on you. You're hoping they're going to be independent. Independent of thought. Independent of maybe a union. Independent of whatever was bringing a burden to you. And the Endings card is you're hoping they're going to be independent and that they're going to have an ending. You're hoping that. We're going to go to the Extended and do their whole spread. And we're going to use the Sleeping Beauty deck. We're also going to have traditional tarot, right? This is all traditional too. This is traditional tarot here. Uh, they're just using angels to kind of paint the picture, right? Uh, but we're going to end this reading. I really want to see this extended, Sagittarius. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining me here. They're all super affordable. I always have the link below. And uh, the beauty in this reading is that somebody's coming very awakened. They're not going to return to you in the same old way. You're going to be like, oh my God. No, it's not like that. It's beautiful. And they, this change that this person has went through is good for you, good for them. And in my opinion, good for the world because they're, they're coming with this vibration of love. Yeah. So we're going to go to the extended. I have the link below. Thanks so much for joining me here, you guys. And thanks for listening right? Yeah. God bless you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.